Our next speaker is Mark Taylor Canfield. My name is Mark Taylor Canfield. I serve as executive director for the nonprofit news organization, Democracy Watch News. Earlier this year, I presented information on challenges to freedom of the press and the protection of journalists at an international conference on journalism held at The Hague in the Netherlands, sponsored by UNESCO and the Global Fund for Media Development. So if you want to find out why the United States is ranked 45th in the world in terms of press freedom by Reporters Without Borders, you can read my article at Truth Out. But today I'm speaking in favor of the resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. According to the Committee to Protect Journalists, an international advocacy group for reporters, 37 journalists have been killed since the conflict began one month ago. The group's president, Jody Ginsburg, told CNN and BBC News that this is the most dangerous conflict for journalists since they began keeping records over 30 years ago. The families of journalists have also been killed and wounded in Gaza. CPJ has joined with over 200 other groups urging the UN Security Council, the UN Security General, and all world leaders to ensure an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories to prevent further harm to civilians. Reporters and media workers should never be targeted by military or police forces. Freedom of the press demands freedom of movement and the safety of journalists. Reporters should not have to sacrifice their lives in order to do their jobs. The continued killing of civilians will not benefit either side in this conflict. This kind of uh, violence will only contribute to the trauma, fear, and hatred already rampant in that area of the world. It's a humanitarian and human rights disaster. The madness must stop. I urge the members of the city council to vote in favor of this resolution to send a clear message to the rest of the world that Seattle supports human rights and peaceful efforts to resolve armed conflicts in Gaza and anywhere in the world they may occur. I agree with U.S. Senator Barbara Lee. Next speaker.